Hello and welcome to Yoga Dharma TV. So this video will be discussing the three part breath. We'll be adding some variations. So the three part breath is an extremely good practice for uh, improving lung capacity for more advanced pranayama practices. So we're going to assume a comfortable upright seat position. So there are other videos on our YouTube channel that advise you on this. I'm using uh, Vajrasa today because it's a, a fairly approachable technique for most of us. However, you can choose one that you're working with. So we're going to assume our upright seat position and we're going to close the eyes and we'll begin with something called Samavriti, which is equal breath. So I'll give you a few moments to get yourself comfortable. So bringing the awareness to the tip of the nose, equalizing the breath. So using the practice of Samavriti, equal breath in and equal breath out. So this could be uh, as easy as two in and two out. It doesn't have to be complicated. And give yourself a few moments to settle into this practice. While you're doing that, I'll add a few uh, guidelines for our three-part breath. So with three-part breath, uh, we visualize three set compartments. The compartment of the abdomen, the compartment of the rib cage, and the compartment of the upper chest. And with the practice of three-part breath, we visualize and practice breathing into these three compartments separately. Okay, so now we've had a moment to uh, stabilize the breath. On your next inhalation, I'd like you to consciously take the breath into the abdomen and then begin to move the breath up into the rib cage, and then move the breath up into the top of the chest. And when you begin your exhale, you begin breathing from the top of the chest down through the rib cage and back down to the abdomen. And on the following inhale, you begin the sequence again, inflating the abdomen, the rib cage and the chest. So have a few rounds, see what this feels like. And as we progress through this practice, I'll give you some advice and tips and techniques on how to utilize the space individually within each compartment. So as you breathe into the abdomen, see if you can expand that space um, all around, forwards, backwards, up and down. And as you breathe into the rib cage, see if you can feel the ribs forwards and backwards and sides lifting and expanding. And as you breathe into the top of the chest, it's okay to lift the top of the chest front and back. Be sure to not take the breath uh, into the head. So have a few more goes at feeling the breath, filling the abdomen, the rib cage and the chest on the inhale. And as you exhale, allow the breath to come out the top of your chest, the rib cage, and then the abdomen. Okay, so begin to regulate the breath in each compartment. So equalize the breath within each compartment. So maybe working up to a count of three in each compartment. So you would inhale into the abdomen for a count of three. And as you breathe into the rib cage, you would count into another three and the top of your chest, another three. So it would be a total of nine on the inhalation and then it's nine on the exhalation as well. Now, if you find that uh, an inhale of nine is too much today, then try two, 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 or even one, one, one. It doesn't matter. We can build the practice up uh, with time and patience. So have a go now of regulating that breath, regulating the breath with each compartment. Let's see if you can make it one smooth, long inhalation and exhalation. So it becomes like a wave-like motion, beginning in the belly and rising up through the ribs and the chest. And on the exhale, feel that wave and going out again from the chest down through the ribs into the belly. So have a few rounds of that. Get used to that feeling of the breath rising on the inhalation and falling on the exhalation. So it's important that we don't feel that we're forcing or straining the breath in any way. Although these practices do require some effort, some patience and practice, we should always control the effort. So it should never feel as though we're forcing or straining the breath.
And as we progress through this video, I'll uh, give you some techniques on how you can increase the space for the breath to come into the body so it doesn't feel as though we're forcing or straining. Now, we're going to start looking at some techniques on how we might uh, utilize the full capacity of our lungs in order to draw the breath in and out uh, with ease, um, but ensuring that we take long, deep, slow inhalations in every compartment. So when you breathe into your abdomen this time, I want you to feel as though you're breathing into a three-dimensional space. So the abdomen expands not just forwards, but backwards as well and side to side and up and down. So as if you're blowing up a balloon from the center and that space, that abdominal cavity, expands outwards from the center in all directions. And then you bring the breath into the ribcage and you repeat this action in your thoracic area of the ribcage. So you feel the ribs in the front of your chest, the back of your chest and the side of your chest rising simultaneously, creating lots of space in that area for the breath to come into the body. And when we get to the top of the chest, we do the same. So we lift the front top of our chest up as we inhale and the corresponding space behind our back at the top of our back at the same time. And those two spaces underneath the armpits. We lift the whole of the top of our chest to give, the, uh, give space for the breath to come into the body. And with your exhalation, you allow those spaces to relax back into their neutral starting position. So you feel the top of your chest sinking back down into its neutral starting position. You feel your ribs falling back into their neutral starting position. And you feel the abdomen relaxing back into its starting position. So I'll give you a few rounds uh, to practice this technique. I'm reminding you to think about these three compartments individually uh, in a three-dimensional capacity, but building it up into one complete breath and one complete exhale. So again, think of that wave-like motion as the breath rises on the inhale and recedes on the exhale. Okay, so we'll end that practice there for a moment. So we've hopefully learned today how we might utilize the full capacity of our lungs in order to uh, fully inhale and fully exhale. So this is the basic three-part breath. So now we move on to something called the reverse three-part breath. So on the three-part breath, we breathe in into the tummy, uh, the rib cage, and then the chest. And we breathe out from the top of the chest, down through the ribs into the tummy. On the th reverse three-part breath, we, we again start by inhaling into the abdomen, the ribs and the chest. But on the exhale, we start with the abdomen. We breathe out from the abdomen, then we breathe out from the rib cage, and then we breathe out from the top of the chest. So this exercise should uh, help you realize how much space you do actually have uh, to draw the breath into the body. It might help you utilize how you contract exhale fully in order to in order to fully exhale we'll have a go we can come back to our upright seated position with your eyes closed take the awareness to the tip of the nose just take your breath there for a moment breathe equally for a moment or two and then we'll begin our first part of the three-part breath practice we'll begin our inhalation into the abdomen the ribs and the chest, and we'll breathe out from the chest, the ribs and the abdomen. So that first practice that we've had a go already. And again, we to think about this as a three dimensional practice. Remember that nice wave like rhythm of the breath rising and falling. So we'll have a few rounds of this practice and then we'll start reversing it in a moment. Just have a go at this now. So on your next exhalation, instead of exhaling from the top of your chest, I want you to begin the exhalation from your abdomen, then your rib cage, and then your chest. And then with your inhalation, you once more breathe into the abdomen, the ribs, and the chest. And remember, on your exhalation, you start breathing out from the abdomen, the ribs, and the chest. So have a go. And again, as you practice, I'll uh, add some more guidance and tips that might help you achieve, might help you be successful. 
So as you practice on your next inhalation, on your next exhalation, sorry, when you begin your exhalation, I want you to consciously, consciously take the exhalation to a space below the navel and consciously pull that space below the navel towards the back of your spine as you exhale. Then consciously pull the ribs back down into their neutral starting position. And again, consciously pull the top of your chest back down into its neutral starting position. And then when you inhale, begin to expand the tummy in that three-dimensional way, then the ribs and then the chest. And with your exhalation, then take the breath down below the bottom of the navel, consciously draw that space below the navel towards the back of your spine, and then bring the ribs back down into their starting position and the top of the chest. So have a few rounds of this, see if this works for you. Okay, at the end of your next complete round, let's pause there. So we hope you've enjoyed this video today. Uh, we do have lots of other instructional videos on our YouTube channel. If you have enjoyed it, it will be really helpful if you could hit that subscribe button, maybe even like us. If you have any comments, or if you practice this video at home and you find that you have uh, hit some brick walls, you understand some of the instructions, or um, you need some further guidance, then you just leave the, your comments in the comments box and I, and I will get back to you as soon as I see them. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye for now and look out for more of these videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you.